morning. It is a Wednesday. It's about 5.40. I'm just getting ready to leave for work. Today it is hot, it's muggy, and there are storms on the way. They said it's supposed to start raining around 11 or 12 o'clock. We have a patio to rip out and set the forms. We're gonna just go as fast as we can, see how far we can get. If we're lucky, we'll get the thing set up before the storms roll in, but we will see. All right, I'm gonna take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Morning, Jewel. Hey, how are you doing? Fine, how are you? That's your truck out there with the uh, victory on it? Yes, oh. it's a YouTube channel. Oh, the YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Victory Outdoor Services. Right oh, here. okay. Oh, yeah. I'm a concrete contractor, yes. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. Have a good day, Jewel. See you later. Bye. Good morning. How are you? Morning. Good. How are you? I'm um, good. Thank you for asking. Um, you are all set. You have a great day. We'll see you next time. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. It is 6.08. I am just pulling into the yard. Bugs is here. <clears throat> Daryl's here too. Early, I gotta load the soft cut saw to Bug's pickup truck. I'm gonna have him go saw cut a garage floor that we poured yesterday, a big garage floor. I'm gonna run over there with him and chalk the lines. And then I'll leave him alone and I'll head over to the job that we're going to. I see Jade's coming over to say hi already. Bugs, look! Hey, that is my girl. Again? Girl. Ugh. You got a good chalk line full of chalk? I just, I just filled it up. I Tape just, measure, just pencil. Filled it up. I'm gonna give you the address when you guys when they get here. Just I'm gonna go with bugs right now so we can get saw on that. Alright, we're heading over there by the garage floor. The other guys are gonna come and they're gonna go to the other job and then I'll meet them over there. The only difficulty today, honestly, is the rain that's coming in. I have all concrete ordered as if it's not gonna rain today and we're gonna get the patio set up. And if it does rain and we get rained out, that's gonna be a problem with all my concrete orders. All right, Bugs and I are here at the garage floor that we poured yesterday to saw cut it. <clears throat> um, it always makes me a little nervous leaving stuff overnight that we just poured with no control joints always nervous about cracking that's why i always tool joints eliminates that fear so and it does look like it cured out quite a bit last night it's whitening out we did put one tool joint there because i knew that was the place where it would want to crack the most no cracks no cracks no cracks so we'll go one right off of there and then split this in two. Right. It's got pretty white overnight Again, for, nice. a, for a garage floor. Nice. It does. Got it? Yep. Thing moves real easy. Yeah, I know. That, that, that's a, I don't like that setup. I, I know. It bends so easy. All right, I got that lined up real nice. Make sure it's running for bugs and then I'm out of here. All right, Bugs is gonna cut that up. Jade's gonna help. I'm off to the next one. It's nice being able to leave a guy do something like this. I know Bugs is gonna cut nice straight lines. He's not gonna mess anything up. It's really nice to have Bugs back. Somebody that I can trust. And I know he's not gonna stop and take a break and sit around and milk it out either. He's gonna get it cut and he's gonna be right over by us. That's a really nice thing too. All right, it is seven o'clock and I'm just pulling up on the job. Looks like the guys are putting the plywood down right now. <clears throat> so we're gonna get started here. I wish I had my track machine, but it is what it is. At least I have a machine. I know, imagine if I was a boss that just stayed in the office and just sent you guys like instructions. <laughs> if I made Daryl the boss. Oh, dude, he don't even know what he was doing. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> What up, Ray? Morning. Morning. I see your sleeve starting to come off. Oh, yeah, I think your shoulders are getting yeah. big. Yeah, like his she, his t-shirt can't even hey. contain it anymore. <laughs> his deltoids are popping. All right, this is a job right here. We're taking this small patio out, and then we're putting a bigger patio in. I came here Saturday and I drew it all out. 
so you can see the pink line. We're gonna radius the corner, radius the corner here, and then we're gonna bring it all the way around the tree and then up to that corner there of the chimney. So it should go pretty quick. We got about four hours, I would say, to get this 100% done before the rain comes in, I hope, but we'll see. We'll just knock it out as quickly as possible. I do have concrete ordered for the step at 12 o'clock or 11 or 12, I don't remember. I'm hoping to knock that out. If we can't pour that step today, I am just gonna pour it integrally with the patio. Hi. Hey, dog bites? No. Okay, just no. checking. Either. What about that one? No, that okay. one doesn't either. Because I would be scared of that bite right there. It's actually the one that'll do that to you. Yeah. That's about it. The little pin teeth dogs. <laughs> He's losing them all. So he oh, okay. <laughs> oh, um, there's one bush in the back. Yep. Can you dig that up and save it for me? It's going to be a uh, 10 cents. Okay. Yeah. Which one? Which one? The nicer of the two? Yeah. The other one. Can okay. Go. All right. The one on, on this side, not the one right in the middle. I think we're going to use the bucket for this. That thing is deep in the ground. I did do a video because we did the neighbors right next door. Right next door earlier this summer. See this machine with the tires. It has a really hard time going up and down the ramps unless you have an attachment on the front because it'll it'll just tip back and turtle on you. The track machine just goes right up and no problem. Grab this bush. I'm going to peck around it and loosen it up. Just roll it out behind, behind the patio because she's keeping it. I see you guys got plastic forms to go all the way around the house again. Wow. All right, I'm gonna switch over to the beak. What? Well, you got enough gravel in there. We got gravel in there, Daryl. I know, but that one's almost full of stuff. Well, why don't you dump one and I can fill one? Slippers on? Wow. <laughs> she took the wig in her slippers. <laughs> She's got her fuzzy slippers. Kind of forgot this isn't the track machine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it can't lift quite as much. It's still strong, but it's not as strong. We gotta hook up a downspout. We got a piece of pipe. Yeah. Need probably like six feet or so. And then a, a 90 degree elbow. Man, that was quick. Did you wash it? Oh, of course. I washed the walls off as best I could. Looked yeah. for spots. Yeah. All uh, right. Cleaned it up the best I could. It's starting to rain right now. Ah. I'm gonna bring gravel in right away. And the 
starts pouring out, it's going to turn into a big mess. Using your hands, Eric, for a shovel? Yeah. I've never seen anybody do that. Especially when there's a shovel right there. You're like a human excavator. All right, I'm gonna get some elevation set and we'll get these forms set real quick. It was raining for a bit and now it's stopped. I think we got a little time, honestly, I hope. There's clouds around, but not right over us. 13 inches. Okay, six and a half. Hold it, I'll just scratch it. I'll run it right through with the pencil. Gotcha. I don't know if the siding is that whacked or what, because I'm like, or I just drew a crooked. Usually the siding's good. That's level, man. That's just the sidings. And we're going to have to block, we're going to have to put two by four under there. Just there, because it'll have pitch coming out that way. Yeah, the siding's pitching that way. Wow. See that? Sure is. Yeah, I bet. We don't need to do nothing there. Good. It's just, just here, just, and then to the gotcha. probably not even all the way to the stoop. Right, I'll look. Like halfway to the stoop. It's right. just probably right there. Gotcha. Yep. We'll block that all. Gotcha. All right. So it don't catch. Hey, this can all get set to height. Parallel with the foundation, Eric. Get your check. There you go. You keep the level square with the house. Yep. I think this is gonna work pretty good with the lawn. <clears throat> That's gotta go down. Pound that one down where the string is. I see we never fixed this line. That thing's never coming undone. <sighs> All right, all the heights are set. These guys are just nailing the forms up to height. Bugs has a step ready to go. I'm gonna call for concrete to see if we can get some. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Yes, sir. Did anybody sis out and cancel their orders? Is there any trucks just sitting around just waiting for a load? Sure. Is it really? Yeah. All right. I got a lot of guys that, that it actually started raining here a little bit, but then it stopped. It only rained for like five or ten minutes. I think you got, if you're looking for a window, I think you got a window. Oh, dude, we're only pouring a little step. It's totally fine. Oh. Yeah, I just need uh, I just need one yard. What are we doing today? You going to take out the little boat? That's going to rain at about 11. That's fine. You want to go out in an aluminum fishing boat in a thunderstorm? <laughs> Man, I'm not going with you. Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
Beach here. Good morning. How you doing? Good, how are you? All right. I'm gonna bring some concrete back. Get the step knocked out. It's uh let me see what time it is. It is 9.16 right now. What's weird? Getting out of here. Oh, it's not weird. Well, it's the first time I've been here. Yeah, well, we usually use a power buggy, but this is easy right here. Sounds like the concrete's hard already. Hey, it's starting to rain. Can you guys go a little faster, please? A little less talk, a little yeah, more. Yeah, a little less talking, more shoveling. <laughs> A workman's comp. <laughs> workman arc, man. Yep. You got a little bit of overhang, you just put a little plastic too. Oh, yeah, all you gotta do is tape it up to here. And that's it. One and a half buckets. Oh, he asked me, how did I get back so fast? Was I doing 110? I said, no, I didn't stop at the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. You out. I guess I'll let you load up the gravel. What could what could possibly go wrong? There's no cars around. All of a sudden right into this car. Bam! Harley knew we were here. I said you would hardly know we were here. Yeah, that's cool. A couple weeks was a grow in perfect. This, uh, this downspout needs to be hooked up. Somebody's got to work on this. <clears throat> Not gonna hook itself up. Thunder! Thunder! Francisco, can you go grab a spade shovel, please? I want to finish this, and I need to saw. Hurry up, Eric, it's thunder and lightning. She was looking for somebody to trench us all the way down the hill. If anybody wants some side work, that's going to be a lot of fun. What? She's looking for somebody to trench us down the hill. You want to make 50 bucks? There you go. <laughs> it was pouring at the dump? Oh, it was coming down good. Mm. Somebody close the light. Ryan, you want to tape the end of that pipe? Oh, and I'm going to hook it up. No, no, no. The other end. Uh, no. No, no, no. That wasn't good. Eric, go down there and just spin it. Not that fast, dude. You gotta spin it slow. He just goes. <laughs> all right, cover this all up. Make sure you get some under and around it. Use some of this stuff first where it's more gravelly. It's not just dirt. Put some of the gravel in there first, Eric. Grab your hammer, let's, let's finish this off. It's raining! Pins over here! The bulldog versus the pit bull. Boxer versus the pit bull. Oh, look, the pee-pee's up. <laughs> It is yeah, yeah. zoomed up. Yeah, he's a little bit heavy for it. <laughs> oh, oh, don't knock over the camera. Yeah, they're having fun though. Yeah, they are. You know, if they play it every day, they would hold it off. Oh, he's kind of heavy for it. He's heavy for it. He smacked it down. Yeah, yeah. All right, so tomorrow morning we'll be back. We're done here. Bugs is going to stay and finish the step. Okay. Perfect. The concrete step, and then tomorrow morning we'll pour the patio. But everything went really good. It was very easy. 
Are you gonna stay and finish this, Bugs? No, you guys leave. I'm bailing, man. We'll, yeah. Uh, we'll scrub her. You know what? My mom is coming though. I know. Did she say what time she's coming? She's with lunch. Probably like 15 minutes. Oh, my mom's coming with food. Oh, right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm finishing. And then everyone's staying. I'm yeah. Finishing. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well. Never mind. We got a few things to clean up. <laughs> we'll wait for her and eat. If my table didn't break, you could. Do you want that table. somewhere else? Because we're we're probably more capable than you of moving it right oh, now yeah it's gonna go up in the front oh i didn't think you were gonna say in the front <laughs> <laughs> empty that wheelbarrow we'll throw it in there just go empty it now put everything away bring a wheelbarrow back and we'll put it where she wants it she's terrified of dogs oh, i'm sorry no it's that fine big one probably like, oh. <laughs> my other dog is more like a cat so yeah oh yeah the little oh, teeny yeah. one yeah what kind it. of dog is that it's a chihuahua mix. Chihuahua mix. Yeah, we just bought a cat. What do you want to treat? Yeah, just like last week, right? What do you want to treat? If you can put it right up by the garage, that would be awesome. What type of cat? I don't know. It's black and white. It's, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice though. It's not an anti-social cat. Right here. Right here. Yep. Right here. Why don't you just um just tip the wheelbarrow to the side? Or I just put it like this? Yep. Oh yeah. Well, we've had a little bit of rain and some thunder, but it has not started pouring yet, which is good. My mom should be here any minute with food. <laughs> Just when I say that, it starts to rain. Oh yeah, yeah. Grandma's here. Sure. It's best mom Wednesday today. My mom was sick on Monday, so. She brought us some food. You wanna put this away again, Mike? Yep. I know, we put it away before. Oh, we put it away because we assumed that you swept the road. We, we were just mistaken. I left it out. Hopefully it doesn't start pouring out. Meatballs? Okay, so what you do is you take a bun, you put yep. some meatballs and then sauce, and then cheese on top, and here comes the rain. Hold right. on, oh, oh, no. it's gonna rain. <laughs> Quick, get the plastic. Just Let me have her open her garage. I'm sure she could. I don't know if she's... Is she outside in the back? Oh. Could you open your garage real quick? Oh no. <laughs> Quicker than that? Yeah, I was gonna... Oh no! <laughs> We're just gonna pull it under the overhang a little bit. Oh, you can go in. There's one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the camera. <laughs> the water bottle. <laughs> a little more. So That's good. Oh, I'm sorry. I totally forget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared of the dog too. All right, we're good now. Do they get along? Yeah. Oh, they're getting along perfect. Oh, yeah. Look at that. They've been playing for like an hour. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's always something, right? <laughs> it didn't pour for long, though. Is the water hitting a step or no? There's food in the garage. Is that your husband? Yeah. Oh, he came just in time for lunch? I know. He wow. Yeah, All so right. Enough, Did you it. text him? Like, there's food here. He's like, Arr! Let's show him how to do it, Ryan. Show me how to do this. Yeah. No, Take you put some roll? meatballs on the roll and a piece of cheese, and that's <laughs> it. Kind of <laughs> it's not that difficult, Eric. Came just in time for lunch. Come on in. We got a meatball sandwich for you. So, we got your step poured. This patio's all set up, ready to pour for tomorrow morning. We buried the downspout. Everything went really good. There's salad there, Ryan, and there's fruit and some Thank you. I love her cookies. With milk. Right. I'm doing your job, girls. Oh, oh that's shade. That's yeah. Job. I don't know if I have another one. Autumn loves dogs. Thank you for lunch. Nice seeing you. Oh, you are. You bud. See you tomorrow. Yep, see you tomorrow. I've never seen that brave with a dog. Come on. She's getting more used to them now that she's with the dog every day. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Best mom Wednesday. We had some guys come in as guest finisher or guest workers on Monday and they were all disappointed because they didn't come. They thought it was gonna be best mom Monday and it wasn't. I'm sorry. Yep, they were they mad. Did it for real? Yeah. All right, this one's all set up and ready to pour. I'm not gonna do all the adioses today because we're gonna combine this video with the pour tomorrow morning. All right, I'll see you right back here in the morning. Adios.
Good morning. It is a Thursday. It's about 5.30, just getting ready to leave for work. Today we're going to go pour a patio that we set up yesterday. I'm going to cut the joints on a 45, do a little crisscross room. I might even cut in a little bit of border. Uh, the customer's really nice. I want to do something a little bit special for her. Plus, it's a small patio. It should be pretty easy. All right, I'm going to take that trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Morning, Joe. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. House. House blend is like three quarters? Yes. <laughs> a victory blend. Victory blend, I forgot. Oh, well, have a good day. Right, Bye. Good morning, how are you? Good. Ready for a great Thursday? Yeah. Yeah? All right. I always have that intention when I come to work, but then you know what? It goes away. Goes away when you realize two or three people then show up again. Exactly. Oh yeah, yeah. It's always something. No I don't know what you got to. I, I know there's no consequence. You want to know why? Because there's nobody else to fill those shoes. You're desperate as an employer, so you have to let people get away with stuff, or you're not going to have anybody. It's it's really sad. All right, I'm at Home Depot. I got to grab a couple cans of spray glue. I know they're out of my 3M, but they'll have Gorilla spray glue, which is not very good, but. I need something. I'm gonna send the guys over to prep a job and we got concrete really early tomorrow morning and everything's gotta be 100% when we get there tomorrow. So I gotta get what I can get. Still out of 3M. Uh, well, we're gonna have to use this stuff for one job until I can find it somewhere else. Yeah, we do. Thank you. All right, we're gonna get over to the yard now. All right, it is 6.17, I'm just pulling into the yard. I'm a little later than usual because I had to stop at Home Depot. We'll see who's here. Eric's here, Mike's here, Bugs is here, Daryl's here. Just waiting on Francisco and Marcel. Morning. Are we just pouring that patio today? Yep. Can I just drive my truck to the job? Sure. And then just go cut grass as soon as we get the mud down? Of course. Right. Yeah, do whatever you want, man. Great You're the scoop. boss. Morning, Bugs. Morning. <clears throat> Did Daryl beat you here? Tell me the truth. He was here. He beat you here? He was sitting here, yeah. And I'm here regular time. He was sitting here. Yeah. Wow. He did. Hey. First time. It's because of him. That's good. I like that. <laughs> I like that. For real. Once I found out you had it, that's just what he needed. What's <laughs> Eric, it's way too early for that. And you too. Let's see what you got. Go ahead. No, I can't dance right here. Try though. You got do your dance. Okay, give me We'll have a dance off today. Hey, go ahead. What you got? You listen to Easy E? Wow. It's way too early for Easy E. That's what I used to listen to when I was young. Really young. Be the last. Oh, yeah. It's very old school. Yeah. Uh no, I'm gonna do fancy joints today. What else are you doing besides that patio, right? I'm just sending a couple guys over to go get the felt, the rods in, the mesh in over at the other job for tomorrow morning early. Mods at 6:30 on that. Mods at 6:30 tomorrow. It's like 33 yards. It's not that bad. That's straight shot. That's straight dude. shot. There's no obstacles. On, Should be pretty easy. Here's my border tool. We're gonna have to wire wheel it. It's got some concrete splatter on there. Man, look at that belt. That belt made him feel good. He was dancing this morning already. Look at Jade knows it's showtime. Look. That's a buck said. Jade, showtime. She runs to the truck. <clears throat> what did they say about the track machine? Did they say anything? Hopefully it gets in today. That's what they said, hopefully yeah. today. All right, Francisco, take the white truck. I ain't waiting. You coming with me or somebody? Okay. I know, how much garbage do I make? Huh? You're leaving at 8.30? Take the white truck. I don't even know why you hardly came. You told me to come and help you. Wow. All right. All right, we're out of here. It's 6.32. All right, we're here. 7.42 
I gotta lay out a bunch of joints now. <clears throat> Should be very easy. Somebody posted on concrete finishers, on a concrete finishers uh, page on Facebook. They're like, what's the hardest part of being in business? I saw your comment on that. I was like, oh, the hardest part is, co is counting all that easy money. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your comment. <laughs> you saw that? Yeah. I mean, you got to have a cash counter in your office, and then you got to have multiple, multiple bank accounts. You know, you got to set up stuff overseas. It's it's hard work, man. One off that corner. I always do that. They wouldn't like me over there. Bugs, you working at the wrong house? Yeah, I was trying to do it. <laughs> Guys in the back with a shotgun. What are you doing here? <laughs> Morning, Marcel. Morning. You gotta go your way. Overlap it. A couple squares. There you go. Now hold this against the foundation first. You can hold it because I can I can get that six inches or whatever. Okay. Eight inches. Right there? Huh? Real close. Okay. The dog's in the window here, like, yes! Right. The little one or Georgie? The big one. Georgie, yeah. yeah. Hey, buddy! <laughs> hey, Georgie! 143 and a quarter. All right, thanks. That's my pencil. That's my pencil, Miss Jade. Thank you. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Uh, I got that eight o'clock. I have 80 equals, calls for seven and a half. Give me eight and a half yards. Six bay, low shirt, air, microfiber. Five inch slump. And put a quarter percent NCA. Concrete's ordered. I gotta go find some puddling boots, man. My, my other ones are all ripped up, my puddling boots. I think I got some new ones in my pickup, I think. Otherwise, I gotta borrow Eric's. I bought some new puddling boots a long time ago, but I don't know where I put them. And they're not in here either. I gotta go, oh no, no, they are back there. They're right there. Just couldn't see them because they're black. Yes. There they are. My wife just texted me, hope your day goes good. I'm gonna text back today is going to be all caps easy my wife has well we've been together since the beginning of the business and she knows trust me she knows it has not been easy you want to be buried in a hammock that would be nice actually you're almost touching the floor there's no way I could get in there. All right, we're already 100%. Daryl's finishing up, putting the last rebar doll in. Daryl slammed them to the ground. We are ready. We do pin it to the foundation, but I'll show you. This is like all to the ground. Something that some guys are just really against. But we put the rebar right on the ground. Right on the ground. That way, if the concrete wants to raise in the winter, it'll release off that rebar. It's not going to put pressure on the foundation or take a hunk out of the new concrete, which I have seen. I've made this mistake before, trust me, a long time ago. But those bars will help the concrete from settling. It, basically, your slab is just resting on the bar as you're trying to prevent the slab from going down. You're not, and you can't prevent the slab from going up. So that's the purpose of the dowels. Some guys are very, very against that, but a lot of guys do it. You just got to do it right, and it works. About 15 years ago, we were putting them in the middle of the slab, and I'll show you something in the front. I didn't pour this slab, and it's not broken, I just came to show you what happened. So we drilled dowels into the middle of the garage floor. Well, attached garage floors, they're on a footing, so they don't really go up and down in the winter with frost, but the concrete does. So we drilled dowels right into the center of the slab. So what happened in the winter is the slab raised up, and those pins had nowhere to go. Something had to give. And what gave is big chunks out of our brand new driveway. Not every rebar, but I don't know, four or five of the rebar along here, big chunks were taken out of the concrete. And that was a long, long time ago, but that was my lesson. 
that you can't put rebar like that learned that a long time ago but since then we drill them right on the bottom and our concrete doesn't settle and i've never had a chunk out of any of our concrete no damage to foundations or anything like that so just wanted to clear that up because some guys are they'll just argue you can't pin to this to the foundation well you can you just got to put them in the right location that's all and then when you're adding a slab i didn't pour this either so this slab obviously was added on to this sidewalk when you pin these together this is a situation where you're going to drill in right into the center of the sidewalk because these slabs are going to move together up and down in the winter they're going to move at the same rate so you're not going to have any problems with the rebar you know causing pressure or breaking or chunking out so situations like this where the concrete's all outside it's going to move at the same rate you put the three bars right in the center center to center yeah oh really what did you eat for breakfast burritos i don't have any anything no no the girls are here hi autumn hi. morning hans there's so many cars here. Okay. Well, Marcel brought his, you brought yours, I brought my pickup. Mike brought his mowing truck and trailer. Eric's leaving early. Bugs always brings his farm truck and the mesh truck. Francisco's rushing to the bathroom right now. Hello? Hey, Ryan, I got lost. <laughs> you went to the bathroom and you got lost? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I was wondering where you were, man. I was like, I yeah, I'll tell. I'll text you the address right now. Yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> Finally. He went to the bathroom and then he calls me. He said he was lost. He couldn't find a job. Come on. How do you get this right? It's about as easy as it is to get to, man. One turn. Thank you, though. I thought you were having a lot of problems. Because <laughs> you've been gone for a while. Concrete's here! Morning! I told them to send the best driver they have. Yep. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, we're just using the buggy from the road. Okay. All right. Here we go. Showtime. You gotta stay there right where you are at Marcel and, and he's gotta swing all the way around to the downspout and then he can finish the walk. I need a shovel dude, put a bunch of concrete in there. There's a big gapper. Oh, Eric. Dude, you, you splat, I told you how to do it last time. I said you don't drop it like it's a bomb, man. Uh. I showed you last time we poured. I said you sprinkle. You go like this and you take it. No question about the hole. Yeah, yeah, right. Right in there. Oh, wow. I'm getting better. We're going to have to take a Saturday and do training for you. You leaving already? Oh, I can help. Just make sure there's no dirty tools yeah. and then you can take off. Starting early tomorrow, Auto. Concrete's at 6.30 on the job. What? Time. Going to a wedding in the morning at 6.30? Oh, you're videoing the wedding? Do you even know what you're doing? She's, vid she's doing the videography for a wedding tomorrow. She's going big time. Hey, Autumn's videographer for a wedding tomorrow. She's big time now. That's, that is big time. That's important, man. I already see the sign on the white car. Photography video. Yep, ex <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Victory. Sponsored by Victory. Yeah. Victory 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, concrete's down, both loaded. We're edging. I'm gonna start cutting the border in now. This concrete's actually setting up pretty fast, which is good. We don't wanna wait around too long. All right, I'm gonna cut this border in nice. Oh, look at that one. 545 tomorrow, Eric. At the yard. Yep. Now you could probably come off because you got to hit that next. Well, actually, if you stay there, you, Marcel, you go that way to the first. You stay there, bugs. We're going out there. Yeah, to your to your corner. Yep. All right, I'm gonna put these joints in now. Concrete's ready. Yeah. All right, that's how we're gonna end the border there. We're gonna run the border right up there. This will be the piece of sidewalk. If you ran the border here into the sidewalk, it would look funny. So you kind of got to end it somehow. So that's how we're going to end it. Right there. It's going to look real nice. Here, sir? No. Okay. Not unless you. you yep. Not unless not you know how to cut try. joints. You gotta try. <laughs> <laughs> not today. It's wire mesh right there, dude. I'd get on if I were you. I'd get on there if I were you. You can do whatever direction you want there, just the next one's gotta be opposite. Right. Marcel's got a broom. So Marcel, you got a broom like this, you know, like two feet out, so when I drop the broom, I can get the broom in the corner. And then this one, you got a broom this way. I mean, I can reach to about there. A broom like that, two feet, like. <laughs> right behind the bride everybody would be laughing <laughs> start brooming i'm gonna start brooming bugs okay you want just keep finishing here Got to broom the border. I got one more square to broom, a couple more squares to broom where they're getting off. It looks awesome though. All right, patio's all done. Turned out nice. It looks cool with the border and the crisscross broom. When the sun hits it just right, the sun's pretty high right now, you don't get the full effect, but when the sun's on an angle, when it hits that bi-directional broom, you, know, you can kind of see it, but it, it brightens them up. It looks pretty cool. Border looks good. And you can kind of see the colors here. That's pretty good. You can kind of see the checkerboard effect just from brooming it in different directions. And the only reason I did this, I cut it up on a 45. I put a border on there and everything. is just because the customer was really nice. She didn't pay any extra for that or anything. She was just really kind to us yesterday. So I figured I'd do something pretty cool for her. 
plus her husband is a he's a tradesman he's a painter and you guys know how i appreciate other tradesmen other craftsmen so there you go what do you think daryl i love it it looks awesome what do you think jay jay's become the new supervisor so i really don't know how much we're going to need daryl jr anymore i think he lost his job you like it marcel yes sir it looks good did you like the mesh sticking up no <laughs> We had mesh sticking up. He had to go in there with wire cutters. Mike pulled it too high. I told Mike he'd go to federal prison if he didn't pull the wire aggressively. Well, he took it too far and he pulled it too high, which is a fine, but he won't be in prison. You like it, Bugs? Yes, I do. You look tired. It was hot out there, brother. <laughs> Looks good, though. It does. All right, that's it for this one. Tomorrow we're pouring a big driveway. 6.30 in the morning. I think it's about 34 yards, but we're pouring it early, should, so it should be super easy. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. 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 Thank Something you for nice. this day, Abba. Thank yeah, you, everybody, for watching. That's it, Francisco? Yeah, adios. There, we need a little Spanish. Adios. Adios. Hi, you like it? I love it. All right. It's beautiful, so yeah. thank you. Yep, she likes it. All right.